My life be like I'm Glenn Cousins and here's one of the final pro parts of our game plan session and right now we're going to build that skeleton okay so here we are what I've got on the board here whether you can see it or not I know some of it's very difficult to see but uh, we'll explain the skeleton to you it's almost like a flow chart if you will there's tons of different things out there on how to build flow charts and road maps and game plans out there and what we're going to try to do is teach you how to build the muscles on the skeleton. I'm going to start on this side for our standing position. From your standing position, you're going to write into your notes and things you want to develop, like grip fighting, okay? Stance. We've already talked about stance in the last one, developing it and controlling it and making things happen. But, you know, stance with grip fighting uh, into your takedown, your setups for your takedowns. Uh, wherever your takedown is, that, again, we have to think about the end in mind. What's my best submission? Okay, what thing am I going to get? Is it going to be an Americana, a Kimura? Is it going to be a cross choke? Whatever it's going to be. We're going to set that up with, we're going to start with the end in mind. So when we start with our takedown, we're going to say, okay, I know this gives me the grip that I need that gets me the closest to the position I want to get or gets me to the better position so I can get submission. So takedown, develop your takedown and your takedown process and develop the grips from the takedown to get it, as well as what's going to lead you to get to gain position and then submission. Then position. Get a different page or six for each position. As you're going through your classes and you're going through your training partners and whatnot, you're going to develop different notes for each position. From the bottom, what am I going to do? Do I need to get my knee in? Do I need to get my hips out a little bit? How can I create better leverage? Do I put one foot on top of the other? Do I raise my hips up first? All these little tips, these details, these are the things which makes you go from white belt to black belt. If we talk about white belt to black belt as far as techniques, think of a triangle right here. The techniques, white belt techniques, blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, black belt. We don't learn that many more new techniques as we get better or more experienced. We learn more details. So the techniques go like this. The details will start here. A little detail for mount a little detail for side control, a little detail for Americana, a little detail for cross choke. And as we go from white belt, blue belt, brown belt, or purple belt, brown belt, black belt, as we get up here, now the techniques, I mean, sorry, the uh, details get wider. Then we have one technique and there's a little, little, you know, detail right here. And next thing you know, we have 32 details for the same technique. To the naked eye or the untrained person, you say, oh, he just beat him with an Americana. But the black belt Americana had a hook in, had a hips down, head up, the opponent's head turned, uh, the wrist turned, strong wrist control, all these extra details, pulling to the shoulder, raising the knee, you know, on and on and on. Tons of details to the Americana, whereas the first day you learn Americana, put the hand under, paintbrush, lift, raise, tap, easy. So, again, as we get through from these positions, we're going to start making details, which makes it better for us to, you know, to finalize and to win. So I have guard, half guard, you know, in the other positions, you know, back control, everything else. I'm just making a skeleton right now. As we move on over from these positions, you're going to go into your submission range. Boom. Uh, get your submissions. Know your flows that go from this position to this position, as well as micro flows that go from position to position. Say, how do I get from top half guard to back control? How do I get from the back control to wrist control? How do I get from wrist control to collar control? How do I go from collar control to tightening it up? Again, all these extra details as we go through. These are the things you're going to build on your plan. And as you build that plan, you're going to have your skeleton filled in finally, and then we'll talk about ways to train that skeleton in our, one of our next sessions, one of our final sessions. Thanks for uh, watching our video. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next one. Hard work, work. Bringing on the doors in the morning. Hard work, work. Get up. Let's go to work.